what's going on guys my name is Shane I just want to make sure there wasn't lipstick still on my teeth <laughs> after eating lunch um, it was quite a mess so I had to fix it a little bit but I probably should have done this before lunch maybe not but I'm just I'm really really stuffed at the moment and I was editing and I'm like oh my gosh this came in yesterday so we have Japan crate um, October edition. I, I mentioned in my last Japan Crate that I've been looking into more subscription boxes and I haven't canceled this one yet. Um, I'm gonna see how this third month kind of goes. I wanted to give it another chance if I find that this one doesn't end up working out. I think my subscription already renewed for the month of November, so we'll probably get another box. But I think after that, like I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this and try to find another subscription. There are just so many out there and I'm not quite sure what I want to dive into so we'll see but for now we're continuing the subscription box as usual we probably will get some sort of chip that I won't like <laughs> so I kind of consider it we get um, five mini snacks uh, a month but really I only ever get to enjoy four so let's go ahead open her up so again this was for October of 2019 this one actually what is today's date because this one I feel like this came really fast. Today is the 21st. This video will probably go up in a couple of days because I know that there were already some videos like getting ready to go out. So probably between like, I don't know, before the 30th, <laughs> you guys will see this. But I usually don't get it until like the 28th of the month and then I have to like really rush to get it up before the end of the month. So I'm excited that this one came a little bit earlier. Um, this time, oh well, maybe not. I felt like there was just, Oh, guys, we might not have gotten chips this time. <laughs> I'm so excited that I'm spitting. Um, so it looks like we have four like mini tiny products and then one big bag of stuff. Um, so I think I'm going to save the big bag for last this time. This little pamphlet does tell you what comes in, but I just read it as I open it so I can tell you exactly, exactly what we're eating. Let us, I guess the first thing I'll grab is this and it looks like maybe another soda candy and I found that this is like a reoccurring theme in these Japan crates that they like really like soda flavored candy I don't know so this is the grape soda gummy introducing grape soda in its newest form gummy chew on this tasty gummy dusted an extra flavor crystal for a Halloween night boost not a huge fan of grape flavor, but we'll try it anyways. It almost looked like it ombres in color a tiny bit. Like the top is a little bit darker. Let's give it... Oh. Oh, it's super grape. Had a... Ooh, hello. Had a little tang to it. I was a little caught off guard when I first took that bite. Um, I could see someone who likes great flavor really liking this but meh, I think it's okay <laughs> all right next thing we're going to pick out is this tiny little it almost looks like a cupcake of some sort I'm not sure of course it has a strawberry on the packaging oh I expected it to kind of whoa <laughs> I expected it to be a gu another gummy but the top if it'll focus the top is like squishy and then the bottom is almost like a cone texture. Like if you squish too hard, it's going to break. This is the strawberry soft. It's almost too cute to eat. The sweet marshmallow type treat is flavored like strawberry shortcake. Oh, okay. Let's try it. Inside, it looks like there's maybe like a little strawberry filling, like the smallest amount. It's okay. <laughs> I'm like the worst person for these kinds of videos because I also don't like marshmallow that much. So it's, you know, it's yummy. I definitely prefer the cone part over the white marshmallow. It really doesn't have that much flavor either. Either I found that some of these snacks from the Japan crate is a little bland for me. Maybe that's just because I'm in America and everything is overly sweet. <laughs> um, but it's okay. It was better than the grape soda one. I, th I think the grape soda one had a much more 
uh, impactful flavor, but this one I just enjoyed more because of the flavor. All right, next we have in this tiny little blue packaging. Let's see what this is. Focus. <laughs> this is the, oh, Dongaree gum. Two for one, this soda flavored hard candy doubles as a gum, so when you're ready to switch it up, aim for the center for some fun. Interesting. Is it a hard? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, interesting. So it starts as a hard candy. As you chew it, it turns into gum. Okay. I don't mind the flavor of this one. All right. Mmm. I'll talk in a second. <laughs> Again, with the theme of soda flavored, which is not. I don't know what like their kind of soda is, but it's not like, I'm not like chewing on a Coke or a Pepsi or a Sunkist or something like that, you know? The flavor is hard to describe. I think this one was my favorite so far. It was pretty cool. You could kind of suck on the candy just as a hard candy and the flavor was pretty nice. And then as you chew, all I really have left in my mouth is like a gum but it's kind of like a crunchy gum. It's unique for sure. I have never had something like that. Okay. Well, I guess spit it out so we can try the next thing. So let's move on to number four. <laughs> number four, this is, yikes. <laughs> this is a little scary looking. Here is the front of the packaging, but here is the back of the packaging. Oh my gosh, I got red lipstick all over my nails. I'm a mess, you guys. Um. This is a little concerning. <laughs> um, a cola ball. What is up with soda and stuff? All right, th this is the cola ball. Did you know that Japan loves jelly? There's a variety of jelly candies, um, desserts, and drinks. A jelly drink? Try it out for yourself with bits of cola flavored jelly. I can't get it open. <laughs> Get it open. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know if I can do this one. It looks just really, 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 really wet. Um, obviously, I know that jelly is supposed to be kind of wet, but this is like, like dripping wet. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I feel like I'm doing something dirty. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the taste. The texture is way too soft for me. Like there is jelly and then there is whatever that nipple was. So I did not like that one. I think that was my least favorite out of the ones that we tried. Now, we usually get a bag of chips in this crate. I mentioned that at the very beginning of the video. I never get to eat them because I think we got sea urchin chips. This is my third. We got sea urchin and we got shrimp the first time. I wasn't about that life. But this time, and it's probably because it's Halloween, it looks like we have like, it's another bag, but there's like individually wrapped snacks in here. And based on the packaging, they almost look like malt balls. I don't know. Uh, these are the peanut choco ball Halloween pack. You can't have Halloween without these classic Japanese chocolates. These milk chocolate covered crunchy peanuts. I don't like peanuts. <laughs> are one of those treats you just can't stop munching on. Treat, uh, choco balls are a treat loved by all ages if you can control your taste buds. Um, I'm still gonna try. I mean, like I like peanut butter and I like like, you know, Reese's and stuff where it's chocolate and peanut butter, but like, if it's an actual peanut, I don't know how I'm gonna enjoy it, but A, a plus on, pa these are little triangular, <laughs> they're little triangular um, packaging. That's so fun. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me, oh, there's a bunch of them in each one too. How many, how many did I get? The cute size, they look appealing. Well, I mean, <laughs> they kind of look like goat poop, <laughs> but I got two, four, six, seven in here. So, oh, I, uh, I think it's just gonna be a chocolate covered peanut, but we'll try it. Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> yep. Oh, crap, I bit one open so you guys could see, but 
<sighs> if I liked peanuts, I would definitely like these. Maybe my husband will like them, but they're literally chocolate covered peanuts. Okay, <laughs> I tried. They look super appealing. I was super excited about them. I'm gonna save them because my husband's a fan of peanuts, I think. He likes pistachios. I don't know if he likes peanut peanuts, but maybe I'll find someone to give them to because I know a lot of people in my family really like these, so these won't necessarily go to waste. Um, unfortunately, this was probably, I don't know, probably the worst box for me, just like taste-wise. It was the box that I found like the least amount of stuff that I personally enjoyed, but I'm also a super picky, picky eater. I'm still on the hunt for my favorite Japanese candy. Um, right now, it's that Naruto, uh, like they're little, I don't even know how to explain them. <laughs> they're little yellow candies with little spikes on them. Like they're so, 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 so yummy. So I'm still on the hunt for another gem, but this was just not it. It was super cute. I did enjoy that they included like a shareable snack um, for the Halloween box. That was really cute, but unfortunately I didn't really find anything that uh, personally catered to me. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. If you did, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up while you're down there. Also hit that subscribe button and I hopefully will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.